everyone welcome back to my channel it's theoni with thrifty divas and it's windy and it's cold but i'm out here because i'm getting stuff out of my car and whatever another collective thrift haul because i'm trying to get this all filmed for you so it can go in the proper places and it's taking me forever but a whole bunch of places i'll tell you where it's from first thing i want to show you is going to be off camera uh i'm gonna I think I'm starting with Give Kids Hope if you're local. They had a sale the other day, 50% off anything 10 or over. So first thing I purchased off camera, I'll show you. All right, so this was a huge mixed bag. First we have like a little Lion Guard set. Then we have some kind of random mini with two Daffies and a mini and a Goofy. And then we have five Bambi figures. And back here we have, oh, I'm actually missing the poo. I have the poo inside. So there's six poo figures that go together. And then seven of the 10 of the 90th anniversary Mickey collection. So not too bad. And this bag was five dollars so that was uh five five dollars for all of that pretty good so we got that then okay first hold on i asked him how much this was he said nothing you can have it so this is made in japan fw woolworth and it's this little articulated kind of press board Santa ornament. So he gave that to me for free. I will be listing that for resale because I'm a sucker for new old stock. Then I bought this for us complete, complete risk. I'm hoping that if it's a no-go, I can sell it for parts and make my money back on eBay. And I'm pretty sure I can, but I bought this. Who buys this for fun? Like just, no, oh, yeah, I do. Okay, all right. I took advantage of the sale because I had seen this a week prior and I was like, oh, I don't know. Well, it says tested works. I don't, I have zero faith in humanity though. So I don't know, whatever, okay. I had seen it for 50 and I was contemplating it at 50, but I was like, no, I'm being silly. So, I took advantage of that sale and I got a PS2 that's allegedly tested and works, power cable, AV cables, and I have no idea. I've never had a, I've never had a PS anything. So it has three controllers. I, I don't know, but 25 bucks. That's for us. That's for us for downstairs in the playroom. I'm excited. I don't even have a game to test it with. I have to go buy a game. <laughs> Then uh, another taking advantage of the sale. I got this for resale. It is this foil mini living her best retro life. Listening to cassettes with a ha with headphones on. I love this. This was normally 10, but I took advantage of the sale and I picked it up for five and it's in this very, very pale pink frame. That's for resale. And then I think this was a great buy because somewhere it said $75 on it. And that is kind of what I was seeing on eBay. Well, that took off the blue on the box. That's kind of what I was seeing on eBay. So $15, but half off, $7.50. And it is, it's this, uh, I don't know. I, I don't know what this says. I can't figure out the letters, but I looked up Tapio Design, or Tapio Weirkala, Finland, and that's when I saw the prices. So new in box, pretty much. You would never know what was in the box from that. But it is six of these with their original stickers. I guess that is what's on the box. That's what it looks like. So $7.50 for that and the resale was, was looking really good. So I should list that quickly too in case anyone 
wants to buy that as a Christmas present. All right, same trip. I feel like some was a little high, but it all goes to a good reason. So I picked up this Cheech and Chong hoodie. I'm thinking for resale, but it's a medium, so uh, not the best size for resale. But I thought it was cute. It's actually, you know, it actually says Cheech and Chong there. I do have a Cheech and Chong mug that I had originally picked up for resale. And I feel like, I don't know why I decided against it. it I either saw a small chip or it wasn't selling for like anything. I can't remember, but I was saving it for a gift for my cousin, but I'm gonna go down and check it out. And if it's in good condition, I might bundle these together, the mug and the hoodie as like, a Cheech and Chong lot, you know? I don't know. That was $6. This was also $6. I texted one of my aunts while I was in the store. She didn't get back to me. So uh, I might have to resell this and hope I get my money back. <laughs> I don't know. Or I just hope. I asked, I texted my aunt while I was in the store and asked her if my cousin still likes Fortnite. She never got back to me. It's two days later. She still hasn't gotten back to me. So I'm going to have to text her again. But they had this Fortnite hoodie. So $6 for this too. I really hope she gets back to me and says, yes, he's still obsessed with Fortnite. I'll be like, okay. Then, this was also $6. I got this for little man. I thought it was super cute. Sor Soros Mini. I don't know what that is. It's just really cute. It's this little green, green jacket. And I think it might be big enough for after the winter because it's an eight. So I'm hoping. I just thought it was really cute. Kind of unique. I like it. And then I got these for Brett. I haven't given them to him yet, but they are his perfect size. They're a 10 and a half. These are Cole Han, 10 and a half, and they are like brand new, brand new. So I, I, I like them because they're like not dressy dressy, but you can like wear them with jeans and a button down and dress up your outfit, you know, like perfect. So I hope they fit him. Anyway, um, I asked the kid how much they were and he, he was like, hesitant so I said tell me they're 10 because the shoes are either like 8 or 10 I think like it literally says 8 or 10 so he was hesitant and he's like uh and I said tell me they're 10 and they're actually 5 today and he's like sure I said cool because I honestly I really think they would have charged 10 anyway so because of the sale I got these for 5 and I was taking a risk with Brett anyway but I do hope he likes them because they're cool and I hope they fit him well all right so that was that trip Next, I went to the barn. And the reason why I went to the barn is because they showed pictures on Facebook and I saw a giant like 18 inch Rushton. I wanted it, rubber face Rushton Santa. I wanted it badly. Um, so I was there when they opened. I ran upstairs to the locked area. The guy let me in and it was $35. And I was like a little steep. <laughs> And then I noticed he had a hairline crack on his nose. Like you could have probably ripped it off if you tried hard enough. So I skipped on the Rushton. And lo and behold, like literally as I put him down, this guy sprinted upstairs. Cause he, he was there just for that too. He alleged his wife made him go get it. It reminded her of her childhood or something or whatever. And I told him, I said, it's got a crack in the nose. He's like, gosh, she'll probably like it anyway. So he bought it for 35. No, thank you. If it was perfect, it would have been in my cart. But I did get some other things that I had my eye on while I was scrolling their little Facebook stuff. Okay, here we go. So the first thing I picked up is this little miniature blow mold Santa sitting on a bench, reading Christmas stories to a mouse. And it was $5. And I was like, I think that's pretty fair. The paint job is terrible but um i thought five was fair on that and it's a little loose but it's because he's literally only connected by his oddly positioned bottom foot so he's not attached at the bench like there's nothing to attach him 
So that's the way it's supposed to be, I guess. Then I think I overpaid, but I got it for me. So it's okay if I overpaid. This says 1968 Empire Plastic Corporation. It is a Santa blow mold, light attached, miniature. He's only about 12 or like 14 inches. Uh, and he was 20. But he's mine. So it's cool. Then I found this gorgeous little thing. This is metal beads. They're, they're metal. And look how old and gorgeous this is. And inside on the tag, it does say made in the USA. It is Whiting and Davis, totally vintage metal beads. This was $2. That's for resale. Then I found these cool things. Um, I don't know how much they were worth, but 66 cents back in the day. So you know they're old. I did pay $5 for them. They're candles that survived all these years. Another Trim a Tree product by Noel Decorations. Decorative, colorful Yule candles. Four piece red original box. They look like little uh, oil oil lamps with glitter. Fantastic. I mean, come on. And I, I did open it in the store to make sure they have never been burned and they haven't. So $5 for those for resale. And then this was $8. Um, I hope this was worth it. I don't even know. Uh, let's see. This is seven, seven little metal bells made in the USA. We'll see. I like to just think like eight plus five and then divide by two. And that's what I paid for each item. That makes me feel a little better. <laughs> I think that's the end of the vintage Christmas. And then we got, little man was with me. I, we got these um, 50 cents each, some to keep, some for resale. I think, I don't even know. They might all be for us. I think they're all for us. I don't even know. But we got Saved by the Bell seasons one and two. That might be for resale. I can't even remember. I looked them up. Um, two disc collection collector two disc collectors edition walt disney dinosaur little man wanted that season four four disc set still sealed alf so i feel like that might be for resale again i can't remember i have to look them up scooby-doo meets batman little man wanted that the breakfast club And Monster High Electrified. Little man wanted that too. All 50 cents each. All right, that is the barn. But wait, there's more. Oh wait, no, I'm not done. Hold on, I'm not done with the barn. This is something else that I saw on Facebook and I wanted it to be mine. So we got a little popcorn Rudolph, and this was $10. Very steep. Do you remember last year at the barn? I got them for a dollar. I got two for like a dollar each, or both for a dollar. I don't even know, but apparently they caught on. Anyway, that's mine. That's the only reason why I paid $10 for it. And this one crazy crazy overpriced five dollars a little popcorn tree also mine and um very expensive i paid ten dollars each for resale but they're worth it believe it or not these are little 
Holt Howard, 1959. I don't know if you can see that. Little Santa tapered candle holders. And here is another one. So $10 each on those. And then the last thing this time, I promise. This little guy, he's from 1986. I paid a dollar for him. It is this little, like, elf gnome guy for a dollar candle. We're going to do a little bit of island thrift just thrown in the mix. So the first thing I got, these were $4.99 full price. But they are these really, like, Sherpa-lined, warm, grippy Friends socks. That is going in my Friends package. Then I got this for resale. It was $3.99 full price. It is a Hello Kitty Las Vegas towel. And I do believe from everything I saw, that is from the 90s. So I figured that was worth the pickup. Then I got this. This was half price. It was only $2. How could I not? Look at this. It's a shadow box with dried flowers and, you know, wheat and cat's tails and little things. And then this little, this little fowl. I don't know what that is. Don't ask me what that is. But I thought that was really, really cute for $2. So that is for resale also. Mirrored back. Got to put this in the Christmas bag over here. This was uh, $3.99 full price. And uh, I looked it up and it is worth it. Right off the bat, somebody was trying to sell that for $10.95 somewhere. This is a Department 56 brand new Noel ornament. Um, and I paid, I told you, $3.99 full price. Made exclusively for Department 56. Um, it has a little bit of uh, water, maybe moisture there. But I mean, the ornament itself is fine. $3.99 was worth the pickup. I've got to list that. And I do believe... This is the last thing from Island Thrift. So it's in this box, this like Fleur de Lis box. I wish they wouldn't write on it with wax marker. That stains even when I can get it off. But anyway, whatever. $2.99, full price. So worth it. Ready? I opened it up. I went, oh, they know not what they do. And at Island Thrift, I don't care. It's it's a for profit. They don't donate anything. You know what I'm saying? So I don't care if they don't know what they're doing. That's fine. Okay. In here, we have some faded tissue paper and this. I do believe that this is Murano. I'm not sure. I probably will not list it as Murano unless I can 100% find out for sure. But everything I have seen, it does look like Murano. The, like the top, the way they attach the top and they blew from the top and all that stuff. It looks like Murano to me. But again, I would never list it as Murano unless I was 1000% certain. So there is like a copper adventurine in there. I don't know if you can see it, but there's, there is copper adventurine all throughout. I think you can, no, you can't. It's not picking up in this light, but anyway, and this is just sticky stuff that needs, that's probably maybe from the Murano sticker. That's no longer there. Dang it. Anyway, sticky residue just has to come off, but this Millefiori hand glown, hand blown glass ornament. $2.99. Thank you. Okay, so I will uh, be listing that here. I think for about $35. Uh, all right, so if I can get that off the bottom. Bye. Yeah, that's the end of Island Drift. All right, uh, Mather, two different trips, I believe, also. First thing I got was this. I just thought it was really cute. It's this brass magazine stand or whatever and it was three dollars and i think it will go really well with people's mid-century decor you know or 70s decor 50s 70s it'll work with anything so i thought it was a really good decorative piece that a lot of people will like so that is going to go up for resale okay next so a little bit of a story here I had found a Cuisinart coffee pot at Island Thrift for $18.99 full price and I bought it and took a risk and it ended up lasting me eight years. Eight years. Best $18.99 I've ever spent. 
Then we bought another one uh, and I got it cheap, believe it or not, at like $80 or $79. And then our tile, because I bought my house with counter tile, uh, counter I don't know what I just said, tile countertops, and I absolutely hate them. Kitchen remodel is going to happen. Um, but my contractor moved to uh, Arizona. So anyway, whole nother thing. So, uh, we noticed that the underneath our coffee pot was like, the tile was sta like rusting, rusting staining. I'm like, that's weird, whatever. So then Brett looks and he said that the bottom of the coffee maker was metal and like rusted out. So it literally fell out. So something was apparently leaking internally. I don't even know, whatever. So that $79 coffee pot, I wonder if it was a refurb. I can't even remember. I bought it off of Amazon. Only lasted a year. Maybe. Okay. So then, oh, and Brett had broken the pot, right? Bumped it, broke it. So he spent $34 on a replacement glass pot. So add that to the almost 80 or 80. So then I didn't really want to spend a hundred dollars, which is what they normally cost on a new one. So I'm browsing Amazon. And I found this really, really cute turquoise coffee maker for, uh, 50, $50. I bought it. It's cute. It works. It's fine. There's literally nothing wrong with it. But then I was at Mather the other day <laughs> and I found this, this is like the baby for $18.99 that lasted me eight years. It's the exact same one. It was the stainless one. So pot manual, they even put in some filters and it was $5 if you can see that. So I bought it, risking it. If it works, I'm bringing the turquoise one to Greece because we said we're bringing one from the US anyway, because in, let, let me tell you, in Europe, you cannot find coffee makers like you find here. First of all, they take 25 minutes to brew and none of them are big carafes and uh, there's like no programmable ones. So we said we were going to bring one anyway. So this turquoise one is perfect and it'll match the ocean. So if this one works, the turquoise one goes to Greece, but for $5 on a $100 coffee maker, yeah. I will take that bet all day long. Then if you saw my Dollar Tree haul, I bought this little tiny stupid eight by 10 thing that says eat. But anyway, I don't, and I talked about this. So I found an E and an A, but now I need a T and they were $2 each, $2 each. And, uh, I'm on the hunt for, for a T and, um, yeah. That happened to me at Savers once too. There was like an E and a T and I needed the A and I looked all over the store and there was no A and I was like, should I buy the E? I didn't know or something. It was missing some letter and I put them out of my cart because I was driving them around. So now I did it again. So we'll see. I got this for $3. It's a pizza peel. Um, it still has the blue stuff that you peel off on it. I got it for my stepfather. My parents, if you, I have said this in the past, a couple years ago, ordered like a $4,000 concrete, I don't even know what it is, wood burning pizza stove that got delivered by crane into their backyard. They're insane. I mean, you really gotta love pizza and they do. So, I mean, my stepfather didn't really need another one, but when I saw it like brand new kind of for $3, I was like, yeah, why not? And then I found this big mamma jamma for a dollar. Look how thick this thing is. Pizza that, I'm not going to say that, but it is like, what does it say? Recipes from Naples finest pizza chefs. Yeah. So I thought that with the pizza peel would be like a cute little added Christmas present, you know? Mm -hmm. Then I got this for $4.00. It is this Lennox. I didn't even know Lennox made this type of stuff. I'm learning so much. Lennox with the sticker still. This like big square serving bowl with wood handles and almost like a mother of pearl or something. I don't know. Something. 
but for four dollars that's for resale and then i got this for 50 cents this is a uh, bavaria germany hoochenruther tertianbruce <laughs> i looked it up though and it's good for resale so i need to list that immediately again Oh, and then I just grabbed this because their mugs are two are, are fifty cents each. This is a nineteen ninety seven Coca Cola Gibson Housewares mug. I don't know. I figured for fifty cents you can't go wrong. And then also fifty cents. What is this one? Oh yeah, again I figured for fifty cents you can't go wrong. Walt Disney World made in Thailand. Big cheese. Fifty cents great shape. Then I grabbed this for $3. I'm going to take a risk on it. Lotus 1998. It is a busy mama like utensil holder. And I did look up comps and they were kind of good. So for $3, it, it looked worth it. This was weird sells and weird also draws me in. So I saw this for three dollars and i'm like what is this i don't even know um it's like resined lacquered i don't know what the word is but it's got like i don't even know i don't know heart piece heart, but, but watch pieces clock piece i don't know i don't know crazy crazy things on here i wonder if that's real gold I don't know. Some things stabbed me. Oh, here. Here. On this. This, like, this stabbed me. It actually sticks out, the little rotary wheel. I don't know. Is that a real, real, real watch? I think this is all real stuff. That someone, like, made this. And it's signed Gert Block. But I don't think, I don't know. Is that a well-known artist? I don't know. I don't know. $3, felt it back, hang it. That's for resale because, I mean, it's pretty amazing. Then I actually added this to uh, my order right by the register because there's a shelf right by the register. I picked this guy up for $3. He's a 1984 Arnart J. Byron Royal Crown Taiwan. And from what I could see, they go for like 30 or or a little higher. So he's in good shape, no chips, no cracks. So I was like, all right, I'll take him. So he's for resale. Then I got this. This is a um, like kind of tapestry style Jets throw blanket made in the USA. I can't remember who makes it. Like Newport or something. Northwest. No, Northwest. Made in the USA, Port Washington, New York. Oh, look at that. Okay. Anyway, so this was $3. So we got that for resale. We don't like the Jets in this house. Then I never do this, but I saw this fabric. Um, I think she charged me $3 for it, but it was supposed to be a dollar because it says, well, fabric is a dollar unless marked and this isn't marked. But anyway, that's fine. It is a Waverly it has a name. Um, rustic Toile, exclusively by, by, by Waverly. So it's this blue uh, fabric, and I'm just going to sell that. I have to measure it and sell it. Because I looked that up, and that was going nicely as well. So I've never sold fabric before, but there's a first time for everything. Then I got this for sale also for a dollar. And it is uh, six DVDs in total, I believe, because each box has three DVD set. It's the complete season one. So season one, volume one and volume two of The Man Show. Runtime, 246 minutes. Brand new, factory sealed. The only thing I don't like is I can hear the disc moving around in there. So I hope that middle part is not scratching up the disc. Um, but it's completely sealed. 
And then I bought this for resale too for four dollars. Where's the price? four dollars this is a chi turbo and when i saw the resale on this i didn't even test it i'm an idiot i meant to plug it in at the store and i forgot um i saw the resale on these pre-owned and i was like whoa really so yeah for four dollars that was worth it too i have a chi too it's not a turbo though and it was a hundred dollars then then another amazing find and all of their ties are a dollar 25 so this was no exception. A dollar twenty-five, still sealed. This is a Brooks Brothers fleece. Brooks Brothers fleece. The plastic says Brooks Brothers on it. I don't know if you can see that, but it does. And it's a little Santa tie. And I paid a dollar twenty-five for it. And there's a lot of room there for resale putting out with the Christmas stuff that needs to be listed like two weeks ago. And then I got this, the cheese in here. Um, pack knit rectangular large 1.9 liter curver. Anyway, this was $3. When I saw it, I was like, whoa, really? Because that place is usually ridiculously cheap, but it was $3. But I got this for me because I just had my closet redone. Why do I give myself these huge projects? I can't even anyway huge project everything had to come out of my closet i moved my dressers into the bedroom because my dressers were in my closet and then i had all rods and shelves put in and all that so i'm i need to fill up the shelves on the top and that was a nice big size all right a couple things left in this bag then i have one more bag in the car and then we're gonna call it a video oh i got this for my best friend to add to her christmas package it was only 50 cents it's so cute Whiskey River Soap Company, 50 safety matches, matches to match your sign. Aquarius, it's lit, let's party. And then the strikey thing is down there. And they're purple. And in a glass bottle. I thought that was so cute. So that just gets added to her little, you know, just a little added bonus. Then I think these are the last two items in these bags. So there was one up there and then I like walked around the store, came back, there was a new one. I'm like, and then there was two and then I had to buy them. I don't know. They were $2.50 each. I don't even know if that's a good price or not, but $2.50 each. This gorgeous, what I think is an oil lamp. So here's the first one. That one is completely unused right? Because that is all naked and the um, wick is in there, all beautiful. Perfect. Gorgeous. I don't know. How much do these things cost? What is it? I don't know. I should Google image it, but I feel like all perfume bottles are going to come up if you know Google image. So I got that and then I turned, well, I didn't get that. I looked at that and then turned around and this one was up there. Also for $2.50. How pretty. This one has a silver cage and a silver cap, but that's all black. I don't I don't know why that is black. And the wick is in there. Has it been used? No, the wick is, I don't, do you like that? You like that. Why does that smell good? That smells sweet and good. I don't. All right, so this one is used. I see some dew in there. This one is used. That one is not. What are these for? Why does it smell good? Someone tell me something. I don't know. But look, it's almost, can you see? It's almost got like a leopard print in there, too. Oh, so pretty. All right, we have to look those up because I, is 250 good? I have no idea. But I got those for resale. All right, let me go get the last bag out of my car. My car will be empty and we will be done. Woo, woo. Let's go. All right, last bag. I don't even know what is in here. What is wrapped? I have no idea what is it. Oh, yes. Okay. I looked these up and I was like, really? So I got them. Six of these carnival glass, like iridescent snifters. So thin and delicate. 50 cents each. So $3 for six. The comps I was seeing was like 100, 120. I was like, really? I don't know. But I'm sure I did okay for $3. Then 
Then I saw this, I thought it was so cute. I don't even know what it is and Google Images was not helping me. This, this looks nice. It's got a little, what is it? Like, a, I don't know. Pug, no, maybe, pug? Tell me what you think. Tell me what kind of dog that you think that is. Do they have tails like that? I don't even know. Anyway, tell me what kind of dog you think that is. But it's like etched on there. It needs cleaning. It was obviously used. It's got like flower gook in it. But I, I thought that was really nice. No chips, no cracks. Did I speak too soon? No manufacturing defect. That was $1.50. That's for resale too. I love it unless I keep it and give flowers to I might give flowers to my mom in this for her birthday Black Friday I love it I think she will too kind of looks like a pit bull Na in natural natural state and she loves pit bulls I think we're going to do that okay yeah and I don't have to worry about listing it or selling it boom Best use of $1.50 ever. All right, so that's that. And then the very last thing, guys. Thank you for sticking through this with me. I love you all so much. Hennessy, this crazy thing. $2 for this thing. I don't even know what it is, but I comped it and it's crazy. I think it was going from anywhere from like 35 to 80. Um. It's, fi it's 50 here. And it says everything you need to read the new graphic novel, Building Stories. 14 distinctively discreet books, booklets, magazines, newspapers, and pamphlets. I literally have no idea what this thing is. None. Here's the front, but what I do know is that I opened it up and it's brand new sealed and I was like okay yeah we're buying this I don't know it looks really interesting though I have no idea I don't know I don't know but for two dollars yes sir I have no idea what this is it's so interesting I don't know, it's from 2012, second edition. I don't know. Here it is. And we're listing that. That's it, guys. That is going to do it for today. And believe it or not, I'm sure you believe it by now. With as much as I have filmed thrift store wise in the last recent week or, or so, I've skipped a bunch. I just brought it straight to the Shebe shed because I mean, what am I going to do with it if I don't have time to film? So it went straight into the Shebe shed and we skipped it. So you guys didn't, you guys don't even see everything. You don't see everything. I know. Anyway. All right. Let me go. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you enjoyed the two other ones I've done in the last couple of days. I filmed them. So I don't know when you'll see them, but if you like these types of videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button, become a permanent part of the Thrifty Divas family. It's free. It costs you nothing. And we would love to have you. And we tend to have a lot of fun here. So that's going to do it for today, guys. Until the next one, stay blessed, my friends. I love each and every one of you.